Welcome to Mecham's Gone Farm and Vintage Tractor Auction, featuring the only classic tractor auction of its kind in the country. Today, some of the hardest to find tractors in the world will hit the auction block. So sit back and relax and enjoy Mecham's Gone Farm and Vintage Tractor Auction. Hello everyone, and welcome to Walworth, Wisconsin for Mecham's Gone Farman Classic Tractor Auction. I'm your host, Mike Holland, along with Max Wilson. And Max, this should be a fantastic show because we've got pretty much every single kind of tractor hitting the auction block. Today. Yeah, from your John Deere's to your IH's, the Mini Mose, the Oliver's, Ford's, they're all here. So. Of course, as all the farmers are pouring into today's auction, We've got people represented from all four corners of the Midwest. Yeah, walking across the parking lot, I saw license plates from Texas, Montana, New York, Alabama. Well, there's plenty of action coming up, so don't go anywhere. We'll be back right after this. Folks, welcome back to Walworth, Wisconsin, and Mecham's Gone Farming. As the auctioneer starts his banter, let's get the tractor moving up to the block. 1951 John Deere A. This one I had my eye on earlier, Max. This is another uh, example of that beautiful restoration of a John Deere. Yeah, some great paint on this tractor, and uh, of course we got our local tractor club here, and of course we got one of our younger guys driving through, and that's a big thing I like seeing is some of these younger guys getting into the hobby, because uh, that's what's going to drive this hobby further into the future. And of course, 1951 John Deere A. Once again, common tractor. Um, good entry level tractor, someone wants to get started in a hobby. And of course, I hate to say it, but it's always cheaper to buy them in this condition where someone else has put the work into them than it is to restore them yourself. And this one here, as you're looking down the hood there with our camera shot, I mean, you look at the paint, there is just a real good gloss to it. Another one selling at no reserve. And of course, John Deere A, that's what I started with. The first one I bought was a 1950. I've still got it. Hasn't run in a few years, but I've still got that track. And at $6,000, I mean, it's pretty good money on a John Deere A. I think the restoration is really helping that one out. Good tires all the way around. And if you want a more in-depth look at some of the tractors that we're seeing and that are featured on today's show, you can always go to Meekup.com, click onto the Gone Farming tab, and uh, see these. They've got a lot of great uh, photos on the website, some other things, but... Uh, you really want to dig into some of these, uh, some of the history and the stories behind these tractors uh, really also is something and a factor that drives up the price. And that brings us to the 1939 John Deere B, I believe is what's up there now. Yep, and this is another one selling at no reserve, Mike. This 1939, of course, John Deere was making some big changes. Um, they styled these tractors, and by styled, I mean they put the, hood, the grill and the hood on it, made them look a little bit better. The farmers were starting to say, you know what, I want something more than just a plain looking functional tractor. I want some comfort, I want some style to it. This one here with fenders and the caster wheels on it. Essentially a lot of the early style tractors were just the unstyled tractor with the modern sheet metal on them. And of course this one here they announced was a professional, professionally restored. Beautiful, you look at the details, the plug wires there as they come out, they're the original cloth braided style. Fenders, cast rears, I mean, this one's really got a lot of what guys look for on them. And also, if you notice in this camera shot here, we've got the red fuel cap and the green cap. Originally, that back tank would have been for gas. You start on gasoline, and then once it warmed up to 190 degrees, you switch it over to run on kerosene or distillate. So That Man. one's going to sell at $3,200. So. That brings us up to a 1954 John Deere 40 standard. Yeah, and of course this one here, rear wheel weights, got the spin out rear wheels. Um, of course, two, two front end weights on them, and those front weights are kind of hard to find. 
Uh, just a nice looking straight little tractor. Another beautiful restoration. And as you were saying, there's been a lot of nice green iron here. It's been restored to impeccable condition. I mean, just over the top, nice restorations. This one here, 2,500, three grand, 3,500. Starting to think I'm auctioning the thing off here as quick as the bidding's going. <laughs> and of course, I, I, I get excited just being around these tractors, but I love seeing these green ones come in. I mean, all of all tractors, if you really, you follow them like I do, you kind of get a feel for looking at them and just looking at the different designs on these tractors. The, oh, what the engineering park department was thinking. For all of you watching on our other television station, RFD TV. And that one goes out for 4,200, bringing us up to lot F20. This is a John Deere 1951G. Yeah, and this one here is one of our feature tractors. Also uh, selling at no reserve. This one here has a factory wide front on it, fenders, with the 800 series John Deere hitch on the back. Um, once again, another very nice looking tractor. I actually, uh, just this last week, I picked up a Model G for myself in a, in a, from a guy and uh, looking forward to working on that here when I get some free time. So, Don't let uh, Max fool you, folks. I, I somehow think he's got a million-dollar stash somewhere where all he does is likes to go out and bid and buy more tractors. No. Nah. Nah, I just happen to scrape a little bit together, and I like finding them when they're a little dirty and greasy yet, and I can do a little cleanup and fixing on them. But How many tractors do you own now, Max? Um, I'm up to like 28, I think I've got now. Oh. 77.50 bid we'll, on this G. Maybe we'll have a, a Max auction here soon. Not, might might not have to. Long. And that one sells Audra's way for 77.50 on that beautiful 51G with a factory wide front. Bringing us to F22, which is a 1958 John Deere 430W. 430 wide front. This one's pretty highly optioned. Has power steering, factory front weights, and rear weights with the spin-out wheels, five-speed with the dual touch-o-matic hydraulic system, three-point new tires, deluxe seat. This pretty much has all the options other than the kitchen sink on it. Another beautifully restored tractor. I've always thought these would be a neat little tractor to have, and they pack a lot of punch for their size, really. And, of course, evidently someone out there in the crowd's liking it, too. We're already at $7,000 bid. And, of course, in 58, that, that would have been the first year of the 30 series. And, of course, they, they were made in several different versions. You had... A four th the W like you see here, they had a 430T, 430C, and then they also had a 430 standard. Not sure which one out of the group is the rarest, but we're at a 7,500 here. Well, as we're trying to play stump, Max, here's a question for you, Max. How many different John Deere models were made under the brand? Oh. Take a guess. Oh, I would say, well, now are we counting all the re reused numbers too? or Because um, there's a lot of them that they're reusing the numbers on now. I would say simply rolling right off the I would showroom say floor. There, there had to have been over probably, I would say, 2,000 to 2,500 different models. Keeping their parts department certainly in business for <laughs> many, many years. Oh, yeah. Lots more to come from Walworth, Wisconsin. It's Meekum's Gone Farming. As we move into this F23, which is a 1964 Oliver 1600. This is a big tractor. Yeah, this is a big tractor. Very rare to see one of these as a high crop. Of course, I call them nosebleed tractors. I'm not much on heights. You get me much above uh, <laughs> six foot off the floor, and I get about a nosebleed. So, um, But very nice restoration on this tractor. Got the front weights on it, the three-piece. You see the bottom one's green, and the top two are white. 
I've always liked the, the styling on these uh, this series of Olivers. This also has the uh, over or the hydro power drive, which is actually a, a knob that you can push and pull, about like the TA lever in a uh, international. It shifted your transmission, and of course, Olivers all had six speeds, so essentially that gave you 12 working speeds. And of course, like I said, a rare Oliver high crop. I mean, you don't see them too often, $9,500. This one also has the high crop fenders on it with the extensions. Um, rice and cane tires on the back. And when I say that, these real deep lug tires. A lot of these tractors went in the parts of the country where it was wet where they were working. They are working in irrigated rows, so you had to have those what, what they call rice and cane tires to get through that mud and get traction. So. Well, I'll tell you what, this one's keeping Kathy busy, Max, as she's, uh, she's certainly got somebody who wants this tractor pretty bad. I've, yeah. I've, I've heard her up the bid at least six times the same same bidder, and it starts it's way out of the tent. Yeah, $14,000 bid on this tractor right now. Well, here's one I certainly had my eye on earlier when I was uh, here first thing this morning. This is one of the tractors that certainly caught my eye. We're just going to wait to introduce it. Just give this Oliver the last chance. Apparently, he's got a couple of bidders kind of going back and forth that don't want to shut the door quite yet. Kathy can't see her way to the auctioneer because of the next tractor that's coming in. You'll know what we're talking about in just a moment. And the bid's going to go on on that 1600 high crop. And here it is, Max. This F25 is a 1956 John Deere 60H. This is a beautiful restored tractor. Yeah, once again, another beautiful restored John Deere. Got new tires all the way around. One of 212 built, Mike. So it's on the rare side. Well, it is rare. I mean, how many of them survived? <laughs> is anyone's guess. I would say probably with the area that these tractors went to, um, a lot of them are not around anymore. They either rotted out or were used up to where they were not feasibly uh, restored. One of 212 high crops built, 135 of the tractors built were all fuels. This is the last all fuel that they built. So. Once again, a, another rare tractor that gets rarer when you start digging deeper into numbers. And being the last one of the all-fuel high crops built, a very unique tractor. So, And as reflected in the price right now with a $22,000 bid, seems like we've kind of flattened out at that point. I've got a lot of hours sitting on a John Deere 60, just not a high crop like this one. And this is still, we're in our row of uh, feature tractors right now and of course rightfully so with the rarity of this tractor and of course talking with Dan Meekham this morning one of the things that he really uh, that you really never know about an auction is how well the crowd's going to do how well the right. you know how much energy the crowd's going to have are they going to be doing a lot of bidding uh, the seller's going to be having this is so far from what I've seen these this uh, crowd has been extremely active. Yeah, and that one's going to sell at 24000 They roll that 60 high crop out. And in comes lot F26, which is a 1945 John Deere B. Hand start. Once again, it looks like another beautiful restoration on a tractor. New tires all around. It's got the pressed steel uh, rear wheels on it for rubber tires. Selling at no reserve, Mike. So once again, it's going to a new home. And as the crowd continues to gather in front of our desk, what looks to be a sold-out arena. It's hardly a chair, open chair. In the, in the lot. That one goes for $2,000, bringing us to number F27, which is a 1952 Ford 8N. Again, Max, one of my favorite looking. The thing that makes this interesting about these Fords is the grill. I just, every time it rolls in front, you see the front right there. Is the, that's a great shot of that grill. I think that really sets this tractor apart, visually anyway. Yeah, and of course, Ford 8 ends. I, I want to say they made well over, I think it was the N series tractors, 2N, 9N, 8N. I think there was something like over half a million of these built. 
So 500,000 tractors, a real high survival rate because they were built tough. If I have to use the slogan, I guess built, built for tough. tough. There you go. But, uh, of course, there's a lot of them around. And 52 was getting towards the end of the production of the N series before they came out with the NAA tractor, which was pretty much the same as an 8N, just had the overhead valve, and it was also an anniversary tractor for Ford. So um, this one here at $2,400 sounded real nice as it came through. This one here has got pretty decent tires all the way around. And some late action going over here on Kathy's way. Someone has kind of showed their hand and showed some interest here. He's right in front of us. And selling at no reserve, Mike, so it's going to go to a new home. Sizing up his competition across the other side of the tent. And uh, she keeps going right back at him. And also one of our feature tractors. And that's going to sell at $3,000, Mike. We're going to take a break of the action to see what Kevin is up to. Kevin, what do you have for us? I've got Eric and Kathleen. They came from Kentucky to sell their old International. Tell me a little bit about this uh, International you have. You spent a little time fixing it up. How long did you spend fixing it up? It's about a year process and uh, went from uh, rust bucket to completely restored. Can you give me just a, a really short list of some of the things that you did to it? Sure, the engine's been rebuilt. Uh, we put all new finishing parts, seats, lights, that sort of thing, and all new paint. Great, what do you think of this hobby? You like uh, you like him sitting out in the barn working on this? Oh, I help, I help. Oh, you help, so you get involved in it too? What is your specialty? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks very much, guys. Really appreciate talking to you guys. Good luck today. The 1966 Farmall 806. I guess pretty much this is a tractor. It is gorgeous with a capital G. I mean, this thing here, beautiful paint on it. You can see the shine nares are coming in. Mufflers painted black. This one here has had a complete nut and bolt restoration. It's been gone through stem to stern. And, of course, $12,000 bid. Evidently, there's a few people in the crowd that really like this, too. Max, I've been to three uh, shows up close and personal with a lot of farmalls in them. And I'm telling you, this is probably one of the best ones I've seen. You don't see farmalls in this good a shape, at least not the ones that I've seen probably over the last year and a half or so. That's, that really is a nice looking track. We're starting to see a lot of guys do a lot of real nice restorations on this 06 and 66 series uh, farm all and international tractors. This one here, I mean, it, it is just a beautiful tractor. And with Kathy on one side, it looks to be Paul on the other side, making sure that they're gonna get And uh, 13,005, I can pretty much say with confidence, we're probably not anywhere near what this guy put into this tractor for money. But uh, one of our features, I mean, it's just another one of those really nice tractors that you love seeing to come across the block here at the Mecham Gun Farming. Dan was just over here talking to the seller right in front of us. I believe they just pulled the reserve on this tractor. So. One of Dan Beacom's important jobs, certainly interacting with uh, the individual sellers here, trying to get them to lift the reserve, bring some more price to the floor. $14,000, that's not a bad price there. Brings us up to lot at 30 which is a 1970 John Deere 4020D. Yep, 4020 diesel, side council. This thing here, look at the paint on this tractor. Got front weights on it, new tires. It's got the Firestones on it, which a lot of people, that's what they like seeing on these, is the Firestone tires. Three-point dual hydraulics on it. I mean, just some of these camera shots here, you can see just that shine and that paint. And of course, being a 70, this is what they, it's a 
a later 40-20. They called them early and late. This one has the oval muffler on it. Kind of gave the farmer a better line of sight when he was sitting on that tractor. Another one of our uh, feature tractors here today. And, and the amount of beautiful tractors that we've seen come through here is just amazing. And there's plenty more to come. I mean, we've got pretty much, as you stated earlier, about probably about 10 city blocks worth of tractors sitting out here. And, of course, for those of you watching on television on RFD TV, you know, you can come to any one of these auctions. All you have to do is go to Meekum.com, check the next date. The next one we have will be coming up in November. The first weekend in November, I believe, is the date on it, and we'll be out in Davenport again. Davenport, Iowa, always brings a fantastic crowd out there. And they're trying for the final bidding. John Deere HWH. Yeah, and uh, we just had that HNH go through just before the combine. This one here, one of 126 built, and of course the HWH, pretty much the same as the HNH, only had the wide front on it. They had a little bit taller front spindle in the, in the HWH. Minimum crop clearance of 21.4 inches. Really made for doing the bedded crops, be able to get out wide to be able to run over top of the beds or run the wheels in between the beds. Two cylinder verified, serial number is 33295, shipped May 9th of 41 to Salinas, California. 17.5, and once again, another, uh, another one of them selling at no reserve. So. Bob brought these tractors in here with the idea that they were going to sell and sell well, and so far they have. HWH is probably, next to the HNH, is probably one of the most desirable of the H models to uh, have in your collection. And of course, they didn't make enough of them for everyone to have one, so that's where the price comes from. Yeah, just a beautiful restoration on this tractor. Definitely did justice. And it sells out at $20,000. Max, the next one we have coming up on the block here, this is certainly one of the featured tractors. It's a 1959 John Deere 430T, all fuel. This is only one of 33 that were even built. Yeah, and of course, the 430T has the factory wide front on it, but it has that, the drop axles are down to give you a little more clearance. Um, complete nut and bolt restoration, including the motor, over 30,000 spent on this restoration. New tires, adjustable tread, has a power adjust rear wheels on it. Fenders, light attachment with the red tail light, all fuel engine with thermostat on it. Fenders, integral power steering and float ride seat, so it's got all the, the deluxe seat on it. Factory power steering, two cylinder documentation. Very unusual to see an all fuel tractor with the deluxe seat and the all fuel or the, uh, the float ride seat and the power steering was a, not an option because usually people buying the all fuels, they were buying a low spec tractor. So Definitely, you hit it right on the head with it being one of our feature tractors. Two cylinder documentation shipped April 10th of 1959. And just hit over $20,000. This is really showing its value here. Yeah, 20,500 bid right now, and we got Dan sitting there, Dan and Kathy working on someone there in the crowd. And they have just put a halt to the next tractor coming in, making sure they give absolutely every opportunity for a buyer to make his bid here. The tractor is already set in place to exit the tent, but they aren't going to let this one go. They know what it's worth, and they're going to uh, make sure that they get the money that this tractor can pull. $21,000. 
fantastic deal there. I know this is owned by the same person that owned that 830 that we just sold in the plow. And once again, we got a 730 standard. Expo Superior Restoration, number 009. And in tow, it's got the uh, 620 plow behind it going for a separate lot number. But right now, we are working on this John Deere 730 standard. Yep, 730 diesel standard, electric start, Expo certified. 669 is the tag, or the number on that Expo certified tag. 2,369 original hours, new front rear tires, original tack, new gauges, seat, lights, and brakes. Front, got the three piece front weight set on, weight set on it, three point width third link. Once again, I'm getting so excited, I'm tripping over my own words here, Mike. But, What's it be? Adjustable like wide front PTO, help. single hydraulic. We don't have it Once yet. again, that another complete restoration by Midwest yeah. Tractor and Plow. Yeah. And the plow is going to be sold yeah. separately, as you alluded to. And right now, here we're $20,000. And now we're going to hear from Big Paul up there. So. On that! All right, $20,000 on this 730 diesel standard yet, and the reserve has just come off of this tractor. All talking to the seller of this tractor, just got the reserve lifted, as Max just said, so this one's going home today. I think it's, uh, it's obvious these tractors have been very well cared for, very meticulously restored. As well. Yeah, no expenses spared on any of these tractors. And it moves out for $23,000, but it's going to bring us up to lot S32, which is a 1973 Oliver 1855 FWA. Yeah, and this one here has a professional restoration by Ken Guile. Radiator was uh, record, water pump rebuilt, new starter and all in air, exhaust manifold muffler had a protective coating applied. Hydraulic power was replaced, or hydropower was replaced. Front axle pivot was rebushed and pinned. Steering cylinders resealed with tie rods replaced. New front wheel drive shaft, drive shift cable. Front wheels were whitened and tires replaced and weighted wheel extensions were installed. All the uh, functions on the dashboard, the cables, speedometer and tachometer were all replaced. So this also has the fender mounted fuel tank so you could run it a little bit longer out in the field on a tank of fuel. Once again, very, very desirable tractor. Beautiful tractor with that Oliver rollover protection structure and the canopy on it. And of course, there's a few people out in the crowd that are really kind of liking this tractor now as we just shot right past $20,000. Well, this one's as big as that International that just came through just a little bit ago. So the size of this one pretty much just cleared the tent as it made its way inside. Yeah, and of course, this one here also has factory three-point on it. I was kind of admiring this tractor. I do have a soft spot for Oliver in the 1800 series and that because I did. I was around one when I was younger helping the neighbor bale hay, and they are a fun tractor to drive. And of course, this one here with the front wheel assist on it, that just tops it all off. The reserve just came off of this tractor. The reserve's off now. $23,000 right now. And it's $24,000. That brings us to our next lot, which is S44, a 1972 John Deere 420 Power Shift. Yeah, Power Shift, roll bar with canopy, copy of original owner registration form included, one owner, new paint, new rubber all the way around, has that Robson canopy on it, just a beautiful restoration on this tractor. Got everything that, all the 4020s that have brought good money with the on farming here, it's got all the stuff. It's a 72, it's got the roll bar and the canopy, and it's a power shift. Of course, they're doing everything just like my grandmother did. They've even wrapped the seat in plastic. <laughs> and of course, right out of the uh, gate here, we're at $20,000, $22,500 now. Of course, the 
plastic on the furniture always doing its job. We never wanted to sit on plastic. It was always uncomfortable, so it certainly protected the furniture, kept oh, us yeah. from sitting on it. And of course, this one here does have a set of weights on the front of it, the side, the start, side starter weights, and then the two slab weights on it. So $24,000. They got the flashing warning lights going on the fenders here. And as we can see, Paul has pulled in Dan, talking to the seller there. Of course, Paul asking him to hold on just a minute. And the reserve just pulled off of this track. That way it's not the deal. 24, 750. And it's not the boys. So. Yeah. Wow, we've seen some really good sales here today. And it rolls out at 24, 750. S83 is a 1966 International 1206. Got the chrome straight pipe on it, new tires on the rear. TA has been rebuilt, rebuilt injection pump, new Firestone tires, all new seals and three point, dual PTO. Correct 1206 fenders, three point with top link, and it's DuPont Imron paint. And with what we've seen, some of these other 1206s come through as this one here, ought to be a treat to see sell. And selling at no reserve. Does have one set of wheel weights on the back. $25,000 bid right now on this 1206. That turbo written there on the side of the hood, always kind of an attention getter. And man, have these 1206s been selling well lately. If anyone out there has a 1206 they want to sell, I kind of urge you to contact us here at uh, Mecham Auctions, Mecham Gone Farming, and see if we can uh, help you out with uh, getting that tractor uh, dispersed for you. So. That's going to bring in lot F48 is a 1967 Farmall 1206 and another beautiful, beautifully restored Farmall. This one here with a narrow front. Uh, of course, I always like this red and white paint scheme when they went back to this on the 1206. They didn't use this on the 806s, just on the 1206s. And uh, really kind of sets them apart with the white wheels and the white grill and the white fenders. Just very unique looking tractor, but the very unique part about this one is the narrow front. Everyone wants them with a wide front and they have a narrow front like this tractor does. That big chrome straight pipe on it, just a beautiful looking tractor. Still trying to reach that $25,000 mark. 24.5 bid right now. And the reserve comes off of this tractor, so it's going to a new home. Thank you, Dan Meekham, doing his job up there with Paul, making sure they're staying in constant contact with that seller, trying to get him to push the tractor through today. 
might have taken him quite a while to pull this collection over here. Maybe he doesn't want to go back home with him. And we've got uh, Lance Schmidt down here working in the uh, crowd here. I believe he's holding the bid with a gentleman right in front of us. $25,000 Lance's way. Another beast coming through here to the International 1206 front wheel assist with the Coleman front end. Oh yeah, and this one here, I was admiring this. Another very unusual. We've had uh, pretty much one of every every gamut of the 1206s from a narrow front to a wide front. Now with the front wheel assist, ought to be a pretty good selling tractor here. Coleman four wheel drive, completely rebuilt mechanically. Motor and front end have been gone through new seals throughout the tractor. So. Once again, another one you can kind of feel the excitement here in the uh, 10 as this one starts to sell, and we're already at $30,000. $32,000. This one here, the action's been pretty hot and heavy on out of the gate. And, uh, of course, these 1206s, as we've seen at the last few auctions, they have just been hot and doesn't look like that trend is really slowing down at all right now. We got a phone bid. Uh, we got David up there handling the phone bid. Selling at no reserve. I told him he asked me what I didn't get out there at the airport, and I told him I didn't get a couple of car heads. So I don't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And it rolls out at $34,000. Of course, this is a John Deere 2520, 1971. Just as beautifully restored. This is a yeah. hot dump. This is probably the highest I think I've seen anybody roll through so far. <laughs> Truly yeah. a high boy. Yeah, got a 71, 2520 John Deere high crop. Got the fenders, the three point dual outlets. Um, this one, I believe, is a diesel. Got the rice and cane tires on it. Beautiful restoration on this tractor. It actually looks like that seat may be the original. By the little bit of a fade you can see in the yellow paint and the cushions, it's not that real bright like a brand new seat would be. $30,000 bid. And these are kind of unique tractors. They were kind of the babies of the high crops in the new generation. That's one of those tractors, Max, you do not even hear it come into the arena. No. No, they're very quiet running tractors. If you hear some noise and some thumping, there's something that needs attention on those tractors. $32,000 bid on this tractor right now. And of course, just that classic new generation styling with that sloped hood out there in the front, and that kind of, I call it an eyebrow type hood. And this thing's just straight, 34,000 bid right now. I mean, this is a fairly highly optioned uh, high crop here with the fenders and the uh, dual hydraulic on it. So 35.5 bid right now. They're working. I believe they just hit 36,000. Big Paul's up there pointing out where that bid came from. And of course, Paul, he is a character when he gets working with some of these guys. I mean, bringing us to lot S33 Max, which is a 1959 John Deere 830. Oh yeah, and this one here, I was really excited to see this tractor here. I've seen this at a couple of different shows. Um, this thing has just been restored and to the point, got the electric start, 24 volt system, got the big tires on the back. Just a real beautiful tractor, no expenses spared restoration. I was uh, very impressed with this tractor. I believe it has dual hydraulics. And it 
As you can see the plow that it's pulling behind it, that's gonna come in for a separate lot number. Yeah, and this one here is Expo certified serial number 498. It's a two-cylinder club that when you show there, they actually give you a plaque with a serial number on it that says that this has been certified as being restored as one of the best tractors out there. Also has the Superior Restoration Award of 007. Um, 20, 23.126 new rear tires, 750.18 SL front tires, overhaul mower, power steering, new clutch, generator, foot throttle, dual hydraulic, $53,000 spent on the restoration of this tractor, Mike. PTO, power steering, new seat, tack gauges, lights, wiring, restored by Midwest Tractor and Plow. The plow will be sold separately right after this tractor, but just, just a very beautiful restoration. I mean, probably the best 830 out there right now. And of course the reserve has just come off of this tractor at 32,000. And I, I mean, this is just, I'm sitting here drooling right now just because this tractor is so nice. And you sit there and look at it, it's running there in those camera shots and you got, got Kathy running across the screen there going over to try and get get the, get someone else wrangled in that's got their hand in the air. But you look at this tractor sitting there running, there is no smoke coming out of this thing. I mean, that motor is just as nice and tight as you could get. $38,000 bid. If you see Kathy there bouncing up and down, that big grin on her face, she's having fun right now. Max said the reserve has come off on this tractor. Someone is going home with this one today. Yeah, and as we just just hit forty thousand dollars on it, Mike. I mean, this is. Oh, here we go. I was gonna say I thought we had a live one here right in front of us. Kathy, come running over, seeing if she can get them tracked down. You got Kathy and and Dan over there now working on the uh, bidder. Forty-one thousand dollars, man. Dan over there trying to work his magic. I know that grin well. <laughs> 41 five. No, uh oh. Looks like Dan's going back to see. Well, we've got some phone bidding action right now on there. Now we're at 42. You can just feel it in here. I'm on the edge of my seat, I got goosebumps. This is just so exciting to see this tractor bring $42,000, and then we still got to plow to sell. $42,000. Wow. And folks, that's gonna wrap it up here for this weekend's auction, and Max, what a show it's been. Yeah, it's been a great time this weekend, and don't forget, we've got that other auction coming up here November 7th and 8th down at Mississippi Valley Fairgrounds in Davenport. So. Yeah, if you're near Davenport, Iowa, the first part of November, this is a show you won't wanna miss. It's something where they've been multiplying in crowds each time they've done it. It's one of our most popular shows of the year. That's the first part of November. Don't miss it. It's going to be Meekum's Gone Farming in Davenport. Well, for Meekum's Gone Farm in Wisconsin, we're going to sign off now. I'm your host, Mike Holland, along with my co-host, Max Wilson, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>